hello guys welcome back to another video of our react tutorial series in this video we're going to focus on something very important we're going to focus on search engine optimization in react applications we're going to talk about the best practices and how to optimize our metadata in react application search engine optimization is very very crucial to make sure our application or websites can be found by search engines like google but in react because of client-side rendering, it can be challenging to optimize for search engine optimization. In this video, we'll focus on optimizing metadata like titles, descriptions, and social sharing information so that search engines can crawl and index our websites correctly. We're also going to cover how React applications manage metadata, techniques to optimize page title, meta descriptions, and social media previews and how to ensure these optimizations work with React Router and client-side rendering. So we're going to start with how the search engine optimization works in React application. We all know that in traditional websites, the HTML is title and description are present before the page loads. This makes it easy for search engine to index our applications or index our pages. However, with React and single page applications, the metadata is dynamically rendered by JavaScript after the page loads. And this can make it harder for search engine to find and properly index our content. Search engine bots that crawl your websites can miss dynamic updated content making it crucial to use methods that, of course, render search engine friendly, making it crucial to use methods that render search engine optimization friendly metadata, even in client-side React application. So what is the solution to all of this problem? By using the right libraries and tools, we can ensure that search engines get all the relevant metadata, even in our single page applications. So the first library we're going to look at today is the React Helmet. We're going to see how to use the React Helmet to manage metadata in our React application. So from here, you can see the NPM link to the React Helmet um, library. So if I click on it, it's going to open up the NPM library for React Helmet. This library allows you to manage and update the head tag of your React application on a per page basis. So you can give your pages titles and um, it's going to read only those titles. You know, when, when we give our pages, like for example, we have the profile page, we give it a title, profile page, we have dashboard, we give it a title, dashboard, we have login page, it's going to enhance search engine optimization for that particular application. So if you scroll down, you're going to read about the helmet and how it's been done. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at the installation and we're going to proceed to install React Helmet. So we're going to copy this and we're going to go back to application and we're going to open our terminal. So from here we can see and just paste what we already have npm install React Helmet and we're going to hit enter to have it installed. This is going to take few seconds. Um, we're going to wait for it to install. So now this is installed. So once this is installed, we can start managing page metadata in individual components. We're going to see how that is going to work out. So here is our booking.jsx page. We're going to first of all import the React Helmet. We're going to say import Helmet from React Helmet. So after that, the next thing we're going to do is to use the Helmet component in our JSX. So moving over here at the top of our application, we're going to import helmet. So from here, we can, we can see we're going to use our helmet component. And inside our helmet, we can now define different metadata. First, we're going to define a title for our page. And we're going to call this hey making booking application so this is going to be the title of our application and from here we can also have other metadata which of course we can give it a name this is going to be our description where we can describe 
hope I spelled this correctly. Description here. Yeah. So we're going to give it the content. This is going to be the content, which of course is going to be the description of our application. So this can just be with this application. You can make reservation. for your hair making so this is my description you're going to have your description based on the kind of application you're building so we can also have as many as possible so if i save this and we we'll try to run this application we're going to see what happens so from here i'm going to run my application we we'll still remember how to do that say so npm run dev this is going to open up our application in port 5173 so if I click on this, it's going to open up our application here. So from what we did, we'll see that with React Helmet, we can dynamically set the title and meta tag in a head section of our HTML. In this example, we've set the title and description for the home page of the application. It's going to allow us to optimize metadata for each route or page in our application, ensuring that when search engine crawls the page, they can properly index the correct metadata for our application we'll go over here and hover on this if you hover on this you're going to see hair making booking application which is basically what we use as our title hair making booking application right so if i hover on the tab it's going to so whenever the um search engine crawls around this page it's going to get this title and whenever i search for hair making or hair booking application it's going to suggest our page to whoever is searching which makes our page well um, search engine friendly so next we're going to see how to optimize for social media sharing in addition to standard metadata we need to also optimize our content for social media platforms like facebook twitter and linkedin this platform uses open graph tags what is usually known as og tags and twitter card tags to display rich content preview so when you share a link of your website some web some websites some link will come up with a very beautiful preview with images titles and descriptions that is done by the open graph tags which we basically call the og tags react helmets allows us to set these tags easily so we're going to see how to set these tags with react helmet we're going to enhance the metadata for social media sharing and we're going to add the open graph and twitter card to what we already have so how do we do that we first of all define the tags for the open graph tags right everything will be done inside our helmet right so i'm just going to write a comment i'm going to say open graph tags right so everything here will be for the open graph tag and i'm going to have the metadata that has a property right the property what how do we specify the open graph properties we use the og column and we're going to have the title and we're of course we're going to have the content which is going to be the content of the title All right here we can you can see um hair making hair making booking platform i don't know how this sounds but we can just stick to it right and i'm going to have another meta data that i can call my description which uh, the property is going to be og not prefix sorry it's property it's going to be og hyphen description which is going to have a content as well the content is going to be the description so i can just copy what i already have here uh yes here we have hair for for your hair making right h a i r sorry so i'm going to paste that for here and i'm going to correct this this is h a i r right and i'm going to close the tag meta tag i'll do the same thing for image so when I, whenever i copy this link it's going to preview my image so i'm going to have the meta tag for image my property is going to be why do i keep writing prefix my property is going to be og og image and the content is going to be the content of the image so let's just get let's just get an image you can just say hair image hair making right i'm just searching for an image we can use for now uh i can just i think i love this 
So I'm going to copy the the link to this image. It's loading. So I'm just going to say copy image address. That is going to be the content of my image tag. Right, the next we're going to create is the OG URL. So I'm going to create a meta tag for the URL, right? It's going to have a property. It's going to have a property, right? The property is going to be OG URL. And of course, the content is going to be is going to be my website since it's not hosted. We could just say HTTP uh, HTTPS my website. So this is going to be the link of the website when it goes live. If, if you watch the previous video, you see how we uploaded our website to Netlify. You can copy the Netlify link and replace it where we have um, HTTPS my website. So this is supposed to be HTTPS slash slash my website. So this is how to create the open graph tags for your application. You can as well go ahead to create for your Twitter card, um, Twitter card tags. You can just call this, I'm going to say this Twitter card tags. Right from here, all you need to do is to create just like we did in the OG tags. We have your name. We're going to call it Twitter and we're going to call it card. Twitter is probably the prefix and it of course has a content and we can always be the, this can be maybe um, a summary large image or uh, let's just say this is a summary large image summary large image right it's going to have a title let's close this it's going to have you can have a title a meta title give it the name our uh, name is going to be twitter column title and it's going to have a content uh, just like every other one right and of course we're just going to copy what we have in the title and we're going, it's going to have another meta for for description and we can have this as Twitter description and it's going to have a content which of course we're going to copy our previous description because it's the same website should have the same description all right and the last but not the least we're going to have the Twitter image tag we're going to have the meta which we're going to have the name is going to be Twitter image right and it's going to have a content that's going to be the url of the image let's just copy this so this is how to set up your your twitter card tags and your open graph tags in your application or enhance your search engine optimization so in this example we've added the key open graph tag which is the title the description the image and the Twitter cards, of course, Twitter um, title, Twitter description, and Twitter image. All of this we are doing is just to ensure that when users share the page on social media, it displays an attractive and informative preview. The image you added is going to show as a preview, and the title will also be there as a preview. Be sure to replace your website with live URL and also replace your image to the image that represents your application, right? And that is that for the open graph tag and for the Twitter cards. So before we wrap up this video, we're going to talk about the best practices for search engine optimization in React. So we're going to list out few few things, few best practices you should always follow when working with React application. One, I would want you to always use descriptive titles and meta description. Make sure every page has a unique title and meta description. Optimize for mobile. Ensure your site is mobile friendly, which is very important. Most searches come from mobile devices. Most persons use prefer mobile devices um, or to desktop and laptop so make sure your app is responsive and adaptive well to different sizes and screen sizes and thirdly always use structured data implement structured data like that of schema.org 
to help search engine understand your content better and improve visibility in search results and in number four i'm, I'm saying leverage server side rendering if you want to get a better search engine optimization consider using frameworks like nextjs which of course we're going to cover in this channel for server side rendering or static side generation to ensure metadata is available to search engine on the initial load and finally i'm going to tell us to always optimize load time page speed is a ranking factor minimize javascript bundles use lazy loading for images and optimize assets to improve your page application and that is it guys for this video we've talked about how to optimize the application for search engine um, optimization so that search engine bots can crawl and find our application so easily if this was helpful to you guys please don't forget to share don't forget to comment don't forget to like and of course subscribe if you have not so we keep growing this community see you guys in the next video bye for now